Hi everyone, my name is Juan and today we're going to be talking about vectors. Vectors are basically a more dynamic version of arrays in C++. With arrays, you have to determine a size for the array and it'll be that size the entire way through the program. But with a vector, you don't actually have to determine a size. And the vector can increase or decrease, however, throughout the program. And so given that information about a vector, we can make a program where I know for myself, I have to keep track of a lot of things that I have to do throughout the day. So I thought maybe we could write a program that would keep track of a list of tasks that I have to do throughout the day, right? And so if we want to hold these vectors or hold these strings, we would just say like that. And so this vector will hold string variables and this is the name of the vector. So now let's say string task, an individual task, set it empty. And so we want to fill up our vector. So then we can do something like this. Sorry. So we're going to have a while loop. And then while they're entering in um, a task into our into our regular task variable, while it's not quit, we will just keep going. So say, see how enter a task for today or quit. And then since we're working with a string variable and it might be more than one word, we're going to use get line get line for task. And now just to make sure that we don't end up putting the word quit into our list of tasks, we can say if task is not quit again. And then this is where we insert it into um, our vector. So here, in order for us to insert, we can use a function called pushback and that's a part of the vector um, library. So we can say, the name of the vector dot push underscore back. And then inside the parentheses, we put in whatever the something that is of similar data type that it holds. So here we're going to push in task. And then that should, this while loop should be looping. And then we just keep entering until we type quit. And now we just want to know some general information about our tasks, right? So we can say, number of tasks for today. And then here, since we don't know the exact number of like tasks we'll be having throughout the program whenever we run it, we can do something called task.size. And that gives you the amount of um, elements inside of our vector, right? And so now if we run it, we could say enter a task for today. So let's just say, Mow the lawn, wash the dishes, um, and then like do homework, right? And then we can just quit. And so number of tasks for today, three. And so now maybe we want to print everything in the array. So that that can be done with a with a for loop. And so um, vectors still use the same like indexes um, similar to arrays. So it starts at zero, goes all the way to the size minus one. So here we can say i equals zero, i is less than um, the size. So we can just simply do the same function call again and say tasks.size i plus plus. And now we can just write a simple C out statement saying task, I think. I'll do I plus one. And then here, it's the same way with um, arrays where in order for us to access an individual element of um, this data structure, we just do the name of it and then square brackets and then at I and line. And so now if we run this, we can say do homework um clean room um oh sorry work on project and then 
do the dishes and then quit. And so now we see number of tasks for today four and then here we just print out the entire thing. And so there's a lot more you can do with vectors. There's a, you can read up on the library of what different functions you have. There's like resize, clear, um, just a lot more um, what you can do with vectors. This is just a simple demonstration making a task list for ourselves. And so I hope this helped. Um, have a good day.